Hello everybody, it's me, Dana. Going through my messages this morning, I received one from somebody who said, um, a lot of my exes are suddenly showing up in my world. What's up with that? <laughs> I've been asked this question many times. Here's my answer. Our life goes in cycles. The first cycle is uh, when you're in the womb, from zero to nine months, right? And then, you know, the next cycle might be the first, uh, the first year. The first nine years of your life are drastically different than the second nine years, right? And nine is a level of completion. So as we're completing and cleaning out some clutter in our lives, and a lot of us are doing that, we're cleaning out our closets, we're cleaning out our relationships, we're, we're getting ready to fork out into new areas or adventures, and you're like, where am I going from here? So as you're clearing out the end of a cycle, a lot of people who were in that time of your life will pop up again because they can sense the ending coming. And some of them are popping up because they want to know if they're going to be involved in your world in the next nine years, in the next cycle. So quite literally, energetically, mentally, physically, emotionally, we're all clearing out clutter at this time because there's a huge opening of beautiful opportunities with new energies coming in. And we can manifest some new amazing things. But we can't take advantage of the new fresh energy if we have all this old clutter in the way. So it's like wanting to paint a new room, a new color. Well, you got to clean out all the old furniture and um, books and magazines and projects and everything out of the room so that you can put that fresh coat of paint on. So, get quiet, get still, and individually focus on each of these people. And, you know, give thanks for them coming into your world. Send them well wishes. And if they're meant to be in the next cycle of your life, welcome them in. If it's time to just, you know, give that final piece of goodbye, then, you know, visualize them saying, you know, I'm happy and grateful that you came into my life. I'm grateful for the lessons and experiences that we shared, and I wish you well. And if you have that kind of closure and thought process within you, then, you know, those releases will happen. Another exercise I also recommend is to cut your cords. So we connect to people and places and things all the time. So imagine like little outlet cords plugging into you, right? So a nice thing to do is in your shower in the morning, just to visualize all those cords being plugged into you and gathering them all up, right? Now we're going to unplug those people, places, and things from your energy. Yuck! And release them to the universal energy with love. Always with love. Give these people, places, and things what they need with love. I release them to you. Let it go. Now breathe in some nice, beautiful, clear energy and seal up all those holes. <sighs> Visualize filling yourself and your aura and feel up with some nice, clear, bright energy. <sighs> and go forth out into your day. I hope this answers your questions. I hope this helps a lot of you who are wondering why some people from the past are suddenly showing up in your world. Smiles to all of you. It's me, Dana. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for your um, kind words and for your questions because that's how I can help all of you more if I know what you need to know. Smiles to you. It's me.